Hi, it's April 17th. I'm Mike Stanton. This is a BAM Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, Dan, let's start in with you this week. We've been talking about it uh, for the last three weeks about increasing stability in the fixed income markets. We saw more signs of that again uh, this week. What uh, stood out to you? Sure. Thanks, Mike. Um, you know, continue uh, to look at uh, and try to gain information through the economic releases and this week's uh, number, the initial jobless claims, which has really become the focal point of the economic releases, came in at 5.24 million jobs lost, uh, totaling over 20 million over the past three or four weeks or so. So real continued um, huge magnitudes of numbers on, the, on that front. Um, and again, uh, this morning's uh, leading, ec leading economic indicators release of down 6.7%, uh, reflecting the economic uh, challenges that the uh, U.S. economy continues to face. Um, with that, uh, the 10-year uh, Treasury uh, traded in a range of uh, 58 to 76 basis points, and the 30-year Treasury traded in a range of 118 to 141 uh, respectively closing at 60 basis points and 1.2. Um, so actually in a fairly narrow range given some of the um, volatility we continue to see or some of the pressures we continue to see on the economic front. Um, within the municipal market, um, participants are really look at, looking and focused on the municipal lending facility um, and how that uh, will, will uh, play into uh, states and cities access to the market, whether that facility is going to be a primary lending facility or more likely uh, what participants are, are thinking right now is that it'll be a backstop facility, the potential of a backstop facility um, for municipality, for, for the large states and cities to access. Right. I think we're, as we're talking to municipal advisors and other people in the market, there are a lot of questions about that. As it's set up by the Fed right now, uh, the eligible issuers who can borrow directly uh, under the liquidity facility are states and the largest cities and counties in the country. Um, so that leaves a lot of municipal issuers that don't have direct access to it, although there's some indication the Fed uh, anticipates that states will set up bond banks uh, on behalf of the, the cities and school districts inside their borders to, to relend money to them. But that's something that needs to, to play out over the next couple of months. Although, you're right. We started hearing, I think, uh, uh, Governor Murphy in New Jersey already put it on the table that uh, the state of New Jersey might uh, think the MLF is a, a good opportunity to help it with some its cash flow needs. So, uh, you know, the MLF is, is uh, slated to make loans through September 30th. So there's uh, plenty of time to see how that plays out. And then, Dan, the only other thing I mentioned uh, specific to the muni market, we did see uh, inflows this week, right? So an another sign of uh, putting in a floor. Yeah, the first uh, week of inflows over the past uh four or five, six weeks or so, uh, where 800 plus million of Muni f uh, flowed into the municipal uh, mutual fund complexes. Um, Brian, how did that transfer into the primary market? It was again, uh, a another consecutive week of growth in the total calendar price. What did you see? It, as you mentioned, the, the inflows, I think definitely played a part uh, in stabilizing the, the Muni market. Uh, Dan's already touched on this a little bit, but uh, you know, in terms of just interest rate swings, uh, this was probably uh, the least volatile week we've had in uh, in a month or so where MMD yields were lower by about 10 or 11 basis points uh, week over week. Um, and most of that was uh, a rally on Monday and a little bit into Tuesday. So for the most part, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday have been pretty stable. Uh, with all of that going on, uh, we definitely saw a rebound in the new issue pricings uh, from last week's about 4.9 billion or so that came to market. We saw about almost six and a half billion price this week. Uh, obviously, the big daddy there was CalGO, which upsized uh, from about a billion to a billion four. You know, we're still seeing the market very much weighted heavily towards high grade um, and tax exempts, um, but the wheels are starting to continue to turn uh, and, and deals are starting to come off of day-to-day uh, -day status little by little and come into the market. So we're seeing a pretty good uh, response on the competitive market, a lot of deals getting priced there. Uh, and then on the negotiated side, it feels like there's the stability where issuers are, are starting to target um, some sale dates in the future. So some of the things that have been on day to day are starting to pick spots out, you know, whether it's next week or a couple weeks out, um, you know, starting to feel good about getting back into the market. Um, in BAM's world, uh, we priced about 185 million uh, on the uh, on the new issue side. Uh, we did about uh, 
12 deals uh, competitively for about 70 million. And then on the negotiated side, we're highlighted by uh, 35 million that RBC price for Bermudian Springs School District in Pennsylvania. And that's a good example of deals coming off day to day and finding a stable market to price into. So uh, overall, uh, you know, we're, we're seeing good signs uh, of things to come. And some interesting transactions on the calendar uh, for the BAM insured world for next week as well, right? Yeah, next week, uh, you know, I think the highlight for us will be uh, Rich Township uh, High School District in Illinois. Uh, R.W. R. Baird is going to be pricing that uh, scheduled to price around midweek. Um, so we've got uh, we've got a decent pipeline of things uh, ready to roll. And that's about ninety seven million dollars. I think it's a double A minus underlying cre credit rating from S&P. So a, a strong credit, but also uh, in Cook County. So we'll be watching that. Uh, Juliet Steele, Managing Vice President of BAM's East Region Public Finance Group, is producing a BAM Credit Insights video. So for more information about the Rich Township transaction, uh, feel free to click on uh, the link and check out that video. Thanks, gentlemen. We'll uh, talk to you again next week. Great. Thanks, Thanks Mike. market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of volatility and illiquidity, BAM-insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption, like the one we're experiencing right now. BAM. Build America Mutual. Ask your broker about BAM-insured municipal bonds.